Hey beautiful people, what's up? How are you? I hope you all are doing good and welcome back to another video. Today I am back with another amazing custom ROM and this one is the Android 13 custom ROM for our Android devices. This one is not for only one device. Uh, this is uh, for bunch of devices and let me show you its version. Basically this is the Arrow OS and its version is 13.0 and this one is the GF's build and its security patch is also all the way latest 5th august 2022 so the rom is pretty much stable uh, today in this video i will be showing you how you can install it on your android devices and if you want to know if this rom is available to download and install for your device you can check the list from the description and if your device is present in this list and uh, then congratulations and if your device is not present in that list then better luck next time maybe in the future uh, your device will be added in that list so for now this is only available for uh, maybe few devices 10 or 8 devices so today in this video i will be showing you how you can install it on your android devices and today i will also review it out i will show you uh, its performance i will also tell you if it is stable for your daily usage and uh, can you use it for gaming how is it battery backup and everything you need to know is in this video so without any further ado let's get started so first of all let me show you how you can install android 13 first custom rom on your android device first of all uh, download the custom rom for uh, your device according to your device from the link in the description after downloading the rom copy the rom into your internal storage sd card or you can also use any external hard drive or otg device uh, right now i am using external hard drive let me show you this one is my external hard drive so i have downloaded the rom into this so uh, now what you have to do a custom recovery should be installed on your android device if you have not uh, installed a custom recovery on your device then you can watch my video from the link in the description but watching that video you will be able to install custom recovery on all xiaomi redmi devices so first of all uh, just power off your device after uh, shutting down your device just press and hold power button plus volume up button to reboot your device into the TWRP or any custom recovery right now I am using the Redmi Note 11 and uh, this time I am using TWRP recovery as you can see here after going into the recovery just connect your uh, OTG device if you are using the OTG then connect it out and uh, first of all you have to go into the wipe so after going into the wipe click on format from here type yes after typing yes just click on this tick button your data will be wiped your data will be formatted i am not doing these steps uh, because i have already installed this rom on my device so that's why i am not doing this so uh, after formatting data just go to install from here to get uh, just select your device i am using the usb otg and now look at your downloaded and copied ROS 13 as you can see here, here we have the ROS 13 spec uh, I am using it for on my spec spec means android uh, spec means redmi note 11 so just 
flash it right from here. After flashing the ROM, go back to home, click on advance and from here you have to choose flash current TWRP recovery. So just flash it out. If you don't have this option in the advanced section, you can also flash the TWRP image file or zip file to make it permanent on the Android 13 ROM. Otherwise, your, reco your recovery will be replaced with the Android 13's recovery. So after doing these steps, just click on reboot system. So after rebooting your device into the system, the ROM will be installed uh, on your device in a few seconds. So as you can see here, after completing the setup, uh, the device will look like this. So uh, here we don't have a lot of options right from here because this one is the beta. So here we have only few changes. Let me show you. So first of all, have a look on the quick settings. Uh, in the quick setting, here we have only a few changes. Uh, like uh, now we have the power uh, option and setting in the bottom right corner of, of the screen and uh, before this we have the uh, Android 12 right here and in the about Android 12 as you can see here uh, here we have the uh, edit button power button and setting button right after the shortcuts of quick settings and uh, in the Android 13 we have these changes and now we get this option go to this option in the right corner of bottom so other than that we don't have a lot of changes for now and maybe in the future a lot of features will be added so in the camera here we only have a, a simple camera as you can see here but if you want more features then you can go for the G apps and the overall performance of this ROM is pretty much stable as you can see here the animations are also played very well and the smoothness you can feel the smoothness of this ROM uh, the ROM is pretty much smooth and let me show you the app opening speed as you can see here it is opening the applications quickly and the animations are also played very well and we have uh, we don't have a lot of janky applications in this room here we have only few needed applications pre-installed but i have installed a lot of games and uh, applications for testing it out in the next video i will be doing the side by side comparison and speed test between android 13 and android 12 custom rooms so stay tuned and uh, now let's go to the settings in the setting we don't have a lot of customizations here we have only basic settings like uh, here we have connect connection settings apps notification battery and if you talk about the battery performance of this room the battery performance of this room is really op as you can see here here i have the 75% uh, of battery and it says it will last more than two days and from here you can access the battery usage, battery saver, battery manager and you can also enable or disable the battery percentage for the uh, status bar. Then we have your storage, sound and vibration and in the sound and vibration we also have the Dolby Atmos which is a plus point for this amazing ROM. So then we have display, in the display you can also enable the 90Hz refresh rate that's mean your display gonna be so smooth while gaming and while scrolling on social media as you can see here we don't have a lot of uh, options right here we only have a dark mode uh, night light colors and some other uh, tap to wake options then you have wallpaper and style in the wallpaper we only get this one wallpaper pre-installed but don't worry you can access a lot of wallpaper from different applications and google too then we have accessibility security now if we talk about the security uh, some major options are working like fingerprint is working and own uh, and all other on screen locks are working pretty much good face unlock is not present in this room maybe it will be added in next updates so after it here we have privacy location safety and emergency password detail well-being google system in the system we have languages and input gestures in the gesture we have quickly open camera system navigation bar one-handed mode which is working pretty much good you can just operate the whole screen with using only one hand then we have press and hold power button prevent ringing then we have date and time backup system updater multiple users and reset options and at the end here we have the about phone from here you can check your android version which is android 13 ROS version is also 13 gfs build and security patch is also latest 5 August 2022. So there is no any single bug or issue except 
uh, the video calling is not working in the meeting application so you can't uh, do meetings on the Google meeting application other than that everything is just working fine Wi-Fi is working Bluetooth hotspot mobile data everything is just working fine in this room so you can use this room as your daily driver but uh, I don't suggest you to use this room as your daily driver because this is only built for testing for now and uh, more stabilized uh, builds will come in the future and you can use them for your daily driver you can use this ROM for only testing and uh, whenever it will get, get stable I will let you know in my videos other than that you can also customize your screen like I have I have customized my own unique home page you can do by uh, creating your own just press and hold on the home screen and from here you can access the uh, wallpaper and style from here you can change the wallpaper you can also access the wallpaper colors basic colors and uh, you can also enable the dark theme and you can change the upgrade right from here other than that we have the gadget, widgets option from the widgets you can add a lot of widgets right from here you can add every application have their different widgets as you can see here so you can use any of these and uh, in the settings of chrome we only get these three options right from here so you can also customize your home page and home screens as well in this room so hope you guys like this video if you really did hit the like button don't forget to subscribe my channel keep supporting thanks for watching peace and let me know which feature do you like the most in android 13 and uh, keep supporting Thanks for watching. Peace.